Hey, do you wanna talk about belly fat? Not really, huh? I know, but do you wanna talk about getting rid of your menopausal belly fat and keeping it off forever? I know you do. Let's go. Hey, killer bees, I'm Paula B, your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we are all about making peace with your menopausal body by finding a healthy weight and moving in ways that feel like self-love. And one of the things that can feel like self-love is getting rid of that menopausal belly fat. Where did that even come from? Am I right? Like, we were moving along just fine, your weight was okay, you were exercising, you were feeling pretty good, and then, and then menopause changed everything. Well, you guys, today I've got four things that you need to know about belly fat that can help you take it off and keep it off forever. Now, number one is a truth bomb. We're getting this out of the way right away. I know you know it, but it bears repeating. Number one, abdominal exercises have nothing to do with burning belly fat. Now, I wanna be super, super clear. I love abdominal exercises. I am definitely not telling you not to do them. In fact, I have some great ab workouts that are perfect for helping you to strengthen and even flatten the appearance of your belly, but they're not going to help you burn belly fat. And here's why. Your body doesn't burn fat from one specific area at a time. It takes the fat where it needs to. Your body is gonna do what your body is gonna do as far as fat storage and fat burning are concerned. And the thing that's really interesting about this specific thing is that not only does your workout not necessarily burn fat, like really specifically ab workouts don't burn belly fat, but even your whole workout may or may not be burning fat at all. Because your body has a very complex system of how it takes in and stores fuel and then uses it later, simply doing one specific kind of exercise is not going to make your body burn fat from that area. And in fact, exercise might not make your body burn fat at all. And further to that, is thing number two, the real truth bomb, your workouts might be causing belly fat. What? I know, but here's the thing. Sometimes at this point in our lives, our workouts aren't giving us as many benefits as we think they are. Here's what happens as we get older in this lovely time of our lives, our bodies are changing hormonally. And what that means for our exercise is that we don't recover the way that we used to. Estrogen, all these years, it's been you know regulating our periods and doing that for us, but it has also been helping our muscles recover after hard workouts. So when you don't have as much estrogen to recover, your body keeps working out. You're still completely capable of working out at the level you were working out before, but your body isn't recovering from it, which means that your body is storing stress. Now here's the thing, all exercise actually is stress on your body, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. That's how your body adapts and gets better and stronger at doing things. But when you're not recovering, then you're not actually adapting and getting better and stronger, but what you're doing is you're storing fat because of the stress hormones that are being released. My friends, this is something that you can do something about really immediately. When we work out too hard, we could be storing fat instead of getting rid of fat. Okay, so that leads me to thing number three. If you have weight to lose from your belly, then what you're gonna do is just lose weight. Like the same way that we would lose any kind of weight from your arms, from your legs, from your belly, from your butt, from your wherever. Any kind of overweight that you have can all be lost the same way. There's nothing special that you need to do because it's belly fat versus butt fat, for example. So you'll just do the same five things that you would do if you were losing weight. You would eat the right number of calories, you would drink the right amount of water, you would get enough sleep, you would exercise moderately, 
so that you're not storing fat by exercising too much, and you would manage your mindset for stress. You guys, stress comes in two forms. The stress of exercise is one of the ways in which you might be storing fat rather than burning it, and the stress of, honestly, just our everyday lives, the things that we think, the negative things that we say to each other, the stresses of you know, having a job or having people that we care for or taking care of our lives. Those kinds of stresses all add up the same way in our body, and they all get stored as belly fat. So if you have weight to lose, lose weight. Do the five things that will help you lose weight. And thing number four that you need to know about belly fat, probably the most important thing that you can know about belly fat, is that if it is only belly fat and you don't have weight to lose, the way to banish it forever is to get rid of your stress, to manage the stresses in your life in such a way that your body isn't storing it all right here in the middle for you. Now I know that this can sound like, but I've got things in my life that are stressful. I have a job, I have elderly parents, I have, for me, elderly pets that I'm taking care of. I totally get it. And here's what you're gonna do. You're going to get all of those thoughts out of your head and onto paper so that you can see what that is causing for you in your life. My friends, getting rid of mental stress is truly as simple as journaling every day, managing your mind so that you can feel good about your life and feel good about the things that might be causing stress. When you take care of your stress, your body will take care of itself. Now I know that you really wanted me to tell you that there is some exercise <laughs> that can burn the belly fat and help you keep it off forever. I totally agree. Exercise would be easier in this case, right? Well, here's the thing. I do actually have exercises for you here to help you strengthen and flatten the appearance of your belly. I also have a video about how doing too much exercise can be the reason why you're storing fat. I've got a video over here that explains everything that you could possibly possibly need to know about losing weight at our age. And I also have a workout that is designed to help you relieve stress, talking about calming your body, calming your mind. Any of these videos are gonna be super, super helpful for you. No matter which one you pick, I'll see you over there.